Zach, you're not allowed to do those other birds that you just told me. Well, I'm gonna do them. No! Along with this game. Welcome to, to, Ultra. A, to a game that people wanted me to do. This. There's a lot of modes I can show off in this LP. Not online, because it's fucking shit. There's Way of the Hotto, Color Editor, I'm not a world warrior. You're you know what I mean. I'll do trading because I suck ass. I'm going to start with Evil Ryu. Here we go. Yummy. Oh boy. I have just classic Street Fighter buttons. Street Fighter, um... <laughs> hey, Drive, when are you gonna do Street Fighter 6? Hey, Drive, yeah. when are you gonna do Final Fantasy 3? It's an S edition. Pleasant. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna take your time. Okay. I'll do good. a minute. I can do a super, it just takes a minute. Yeah, because it's trainee. Listen, man, let me have this. Let me have this. You guys already see me suffer through fucking four Street Fighter 2 versions. Let me have this. Okay. <laughs> Moment of peace. Yeah, besides, you guys finally get to see something. Guys, the only game we'll ever we'll only get to see two Street Fighter characters. Actually, the only Street Fighter game where we'll get to see certain Street Fighter characters we'll never see again. You mean Violent Ken, uh, Fei Long, T-Hawk? Yep. yep. And then Bison, because he's dead. He's permanently gone. Oh, yeah. Bison's perma, perma dead. You must fight Shag Long to stand up. Chance. Chance. <laughs> the Sonic Boom! I hate Zach's dial. I hate it. Since you first Oh my god. You fucking Pissed hate me off. Good, you just hate me because I know how to do the fucking motions All for Sonic does Boom. Is, is the fucking Sonic Boom. Dude, that's what every guile player does to a fucking. Does, does. It's fucking Sonic Boom and Flash Kick. And maybe some technical shit. Beef. Um, so I'll explain how this LP will work. I will play every single character 
First, I will do the new modern version. But then afterwards, I will increase the difficulty and play with the classical sprites. That's how this LP will work. He's gonna do every single character playthrough first, though. Nah, nah, it's gonna be in between, like, one episode's gonna be this style, one episode's gonna be the classic art sprites, so I will do Ryu first, then I'll follow up with the order that I will selectively choose. So it'll be one modern version, one classic. Yes. For each character. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's how this LP will work. I know it, it's gonna be a little jarring, but I don't give a shit. Play along, interesting. Basically, uh, for the modern playthroughs with the trainee thing, it's a calm before the storm. Smack it on Cheetos. Why does it look like sweet and sour sauce and not blood? What? The fucking the blood in this game looks like sweet sour sauce. It does not look like blood. No. Oh yeah, because Nintendo's age rating, but they stopped giving a fuck. Like having like games like Karen, Mortal oh, he's choking the chicken. Catherine, Mortal Kombat, Doge Go, Go, Larger Glove, Fun Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, now Nintendo will let anything on their console now, which is fucking crazy. The most scariest thing about Nintendo is that, yes, they are willing to go a generation behind. But the scarier thing about it is, is how they'll somehow step up and innovate, see what the other competitors are doing, and then outdo them with the old style generation console. That is the most terrifying thing Nintendo is all about. See... They're like Blackbeard. Nintendo's like Blackbeard. They sit in the corner, they wait for their competitors to do their thing, and then they just jump, and then they do their own thing. But yes, I actually am excited. Uh, speaking of Nintendo, I'm excited to see the Thousand Year Door remake. I finally get to play it! Do I have to? Yes. This fighter has brought me so much, it's much grief. And a broken TV. I... I can't look at this character exactly. and you're look at... You're not amping up the difficulty. Alright, 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 alright. I won't amp up the difficulty. Good. So we don't have a broken TV. But yes, if you're wondering where the sprites are from, they're from Street Fighter 2 uh, Turbo HD Remix. A game that was on the Xbox 360 Arcade Live and PlayStation 3. It was only a downloadable, only at the time, and it, it oversold and kind of saved Street Fighter as a whole, so... I know people bitch about the sprites, but I'm like, dude, this, this Street Fighter has done it before, but like multiple fucking times we didn't bitch. Meanwhile, we're bitching about this now. Well, to be fair, we couldn't voice our opinions because the fucking internet didn't exist, so, so we had no place to vent our damn frustrations, but goddamn, shut the fuck up. The internet did exist. Yeah, I know, but still. Guys. Alright. I don't care. It's a new game. We get to watch him play. Some other kid is probably never going to see the 100 million versions of 
fucking Street Fighter, okay? This might be their first Street Fighter, or Street Fighter 6 is their first Street Fighter. There are people that will go without knowing there's different versions of fucking Mario Brothers 1. Okay? And we all have to accept that. <laughs> My fight money! Oh, oof. Street no, it was technically someone else. Oh. And Balrog got pissed off because Balrog was supposed to go into the tournament, but didn't because he was being up people. His lookalike got more attention and he got pissed off, so that's why he entered the next tournament. Oh. That's basically Balrog's story in a nutshell. Really? Yeah, essentially, yeah. But also, he needed to join Shadow Luke because he needed fight money because he's a. His Balrog keeps spending his money and keeps losing it. It's a bad spell. It's your boy, Mr. Clean, and oh shit. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Clean. I hear. What? Why'd you look at me like that? Sagat finally decided to settle down. He's like, Sagat's either one dead right now, or he's an old guy. With Sagat's not dead. Sagat's not dead. Isn't he like the tribal chief of his Yes, village? he became the chief of the village. Adon is probably going to show up, which... He's going to show up his DLC. Here's, here's the weird part. You know who Max is one of his most unfavorite characters are? Adon. It's fucking Adon. Like, I'm like... But he's the original Street Fighter character. He's an OG! Why does he he's fucking... OG. Is it his goofy hair? Is it the way that he, like, does stuff? Like, why? Like, I get Rufus. I get Hakan. I get fucking Fog. Why Adon? Are you funny? Are you... Did that Bison get murdered? <laughs> I just see fucking M. Bison's dead corpse. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. Bison's just dead. Don't worry about it. Bison got fucking creamed. A good fight, buddy! <laughs> Alright, here we go. That's the end of Ryu's playthrough. Yes. Oh my god! We finally get to see the endings! Look at that. It's Ryu. See, look, boys? You can finally see the endings. Zach, like, why do I feel like someone's gonna show up? Yeah, the fight is over there.
These are basically the guys that did Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 2 on the list. Yep, that, that's the beginning of my new LP, so I will be doing all the arcade playthroughs. I will be showing off the secret, secret character in this game. No, there's not. I will do buddy mode, I will show off the color editor, and I will show off Bison, the Bison mode. But that will be in between uh, arcade playthroughs, so I hope you all look forward to that. And this is the first episode of Let's Play Ultra Street Fighter 2. The new challengers. New challengers. I will see you guys. Well, the final challengers. I will see you guys later with more of this game. Alright, peace. Stay crispy, everybody. Bye.